there we go. Hey guys, this is Purita again with your new review videos. I was told to call you guys mga katusok. So mga katusok, this is my part 2 for my review for parasitology. And as for the last video, we did study the introduction of parasitology. Oh, excuse my dog. Uh-uh. wait lang. So, um, again, excuse my dog. Um, in this, in the previous video, we tackled about parasi uh, parasitology as a subject. What is, par what are parasites? And what does this subject entail? And for now, we do have our second part, which is your trichuris and your enterobius. So, let's dive in. So, natuwa lang ako, nakita ko to sa Twitter by my artist MD. And it it says here, the unholy trinity of pabebe worms. So, at wala kayong pake kung pabebe man sila sa feed nyo. Ayun o, yung sabi. Mm, Tcharan! Anyway. So, we already discussed this girl, which is your Ascaris lumbricoides. And what we're gonna be discussing is this guy. Trend. But we won't be discussing the hookworms. Instead, we're gonna be discussing about something else. Hookworms would be, siguro, by the next video, which is hookworms and strongyloides. But enough of that. Let's dive in. So, trichuria is trichuria. So, let me just... There we go. Trichuria is trichuria. Its common name is the whipworm. And its morphology is the slender head and the fleshy chip the fleshy tail and its location is in the large intestine and its trans transmission is via fecal oral route. Its infective stage is your embryonated ova and your fertilized ova, it's the same, actually so interchangeable terms. And its diagnostic stage is the ova found in stools via microscopic examination. And the treatment, like in your Ascaris lumbricoides, is albendazole and mebendazole without the pyrantel. So, it says the morphology is a slender head with a fleshy tail. So, let's go back to the unholy trinity pa bebe keme. So, when they say that it has a uh, slender head, the head of the trichuris, this this girl should be here and this should be the tail that's why it's called a whip worm because of its whip like morphology going back going back its infective stage is embryonated ova or fertilized ova it's the same with ascaris and also the same with ascaris this guy needs Soil. It, the poop need to be transmitted in soil so that it would be embryonated properly. Then, mula sa soil, kapag hindi nagugas ng kamay, hmm, makakain ka na naman ng mga bagay-bagay na infected ng jibs ng ibang tao. Kasi, the transmission is here. The fecal oral route. Next is, how does it look like? It looks like this. Again, it does look like a whip. Again, you have a slender anterior and a fleshy posterior, a slender anterior and a fleshy posterior. So, if I'm not mistaken, this is a female and this is a male. Paano ko nalaman yun? Speakule. And ovida. Also, it's that a general rule for nematodes is that females are a lot bigger than males. Besides the fact that you can see in their anatomy, the uterus and the intestine. Because this is very much the detail. But, syempre, hindi nyo naman lagi kita yun. So, you're gonna have to depend on the size. Next, you have its life cycle. The life cycle of trichuris is almost, again, the same as your ascaris. Because it needs a soil, or it needs soil, rather, to embryonate itself. So, let's start with this guy. For example, ulit, isa siyang butihin farmer. Saludo po ako sa mga farmer. Mahirap po yung ginagawa nyo. Pinapakain nyo po ang buong Pilipinas. Anyway, so si Manong Farmer, um, nagtatanim siya and 
syempre, sa lupa. At sa bukid, walang papil. Kumukuskus lang sila sa pilapil. Anyway, so, for example, this is another man that had deposited his poop. Ayan, kunyari poop. Churn, churn, yan. Had deposited his poop on the soil. And after about two to four weeks, for example, infected in. Tapos, nasa soil siya, kunyari. And after two to four weeks, the ovums or the eggs are actually embryonated. And another man, this gentleman right here, was farming and he got hungry. He didn't wash his hands properly and the soil got into the nooks and the crannies of his fingers. Or his fingernails rather. So, makakain niya yun. Pag nakain niya yun, balik tayo dito. The ova or the embryonated ova will be hatching on your small intestine. But they would be procreating in your large intestine. Which, kapag nag-procreate, ano mangyayari? Siyempre, may babies and their babies are the eggs. The eggs would be on that person's poop. Again, if it's transmitted to soil, it would embryonate and the cycle continues. Dito naman, this one is a more um, detailed version of that, which we start here. Si Kuya, ayun, zoomebs lang doon, walang, walang tubig. Zoomebs lang siya doon mga 2 to 4 weeks nga um, in warm, moist soil. And in the Philippines, warm, moist soils are not very hard to find. Oh my gosh, I'm again, sorry for my dog. It's not hard to find because Philippines is, after all, a warm, moist country. Um, what happens next is the eggs will be ingested, like so. Again, hindi nakapaghugas ng matino ng kamay or maghugas man parang dinaanan lang ng tubig, which is wrong. You have to wash your hands properly about 20 seconds. And they would go into the crypts of your intestinal mucosa. This one, this is first for your small intestine. Then they would migrate to your large intestine. And you poop it out. So, with regards to this one, if you can see, there are signs and symptoms of that. And the most popular symptom of trichuria trichuria is what's called a rectal prolapse. This is more common in kids rather than in adults. It's sort of common in adults but not in the not in trichuria trichuria infection. We'll talk about that in another video. So what happens when you say rectal prolapse, the rectum kind of flips and the anal area, there is a part of the rectum that is protruding inside, outside the anal area. So, if you can see here, that's the rectum protruding outside of the anal area. Next up is, how does it look like? It looks like this. Um, again, this is the posterior and this is the anterior. It does look like a whip. And for this other picture or image, let's use a different color. Yeah. If you can see, it's a, a bit clearer. And you can actually differentiate that from male and female. Because again, as a general rule, females are larger than males. So which is the larger one? This one. And this one is your male. Next is, <clears throat> this is what an actual rectal prolapse with trichuria trichuria infection looks like. Um, I was told by my previous professors, or my professors rather, that it kind of looks like coconut shavings. Um, coconut shavings or yung niyog, yung binubudbud nyo sa kutsinta. Parang ganun yung itsura niya. Medyo yucky man isipin. Alam ko sa inyo may mga iba na hindi mo nakakain ng kutsinta dahil dito. But it does it does look like that. It looks like coconut shavings. Or cheese shavings kung ayaw nyo ng coconut shavings. So this is your rectal prolapse. Sorry, let's make it black. This is your rectal prolapse. 
and these are your worms yeah those guys and this is the inside of your large intestine and they burrow the, in the crypts of your um, mucosa in your large intestine oh no then what does the eggs or the ovas look like the defining characteristic of a trichurus ova is its bipolar plugs. And sometimes, or most of the time, hindi mo hindi ka makakakita ng perfect na ova ng trichurus. So, this guy right here, hindi siya mas... Actually, mas mukha siyang egg ng um, Ascaris, but it's a trichurus ova. If you can see here, these are the bipolar plugs. It's the thickening of the polar ends of its shell. So, not always ka makakita nito. If, if you do see one of these guys, you have to like look very close to see the, bipol the bipolar plugs because they are, after all, present. Then, you have your Enterobius vermicularis. Your Enterobius vermicularis, uh, hindi siya kasama dun sa pagbebe worms, but I guess dapat kasama siya doon instead of the hookworms because they do it does have a bit more um how do you say com comparatively similar characteristics with your trichuris and your ascaris. So its common name is the pinworm or the sitworm. Its mor morphology is it is pointed at its posterior end and hence the name uh, anterior end pala to. and hence the name the pinworm its location is in the large intestine its transmission is via fecal oral route but it can also be transmitted via auto infection and retro infection the infective stage is the embryonated ova or the fertilized ova and it's found or its diagnostic stage is in the ova on a scotch tape swab or scotch tape examination. The treatment is the same with your ascaris, which is the mebendazole, albendazole, and pyrantel. And this is what it looks like. So if you can see here, let me zoom it for you. So if you can see here, you have what is called a cephalic expansion. It's also called a cephalic alley. So, in a close-up, it kind of looks like this. So, I did, did do some research with regards to your cephalic alley. It's like a wing-like structure of the cuticle at the pointed end of your pinworm. But, as for its actual use, uh, scientists are still debating on that. But... The only thing that is written that's a bit more solid, it's, it does strengthen the cuticle of the parasite. Next is your pinworm egg. It kind of looks like a D. It's also regarded as lopsided on one side and flat on one side. So if you're going to look at this carefully, this is your larva. Cute nya, natulog lang. Anyway, so this is your flat side. And this is your lop side. So usually, again, in a perfect world, lahat ng ova ganyan mo makikita, but not all the time. So then, how does it look like in real life? So again, this one, I think this is under face contrast microscopy, but do not quote me on that. I'm not sure. Medyo nang hula lang ako dahil dun sa edges niya. Because these ovi ovums or these ovas are actually transparent. And uh, you can see that they do have this flat flat side and the lop side. So, yeah, flat side, lop side. With regards to that, again, in a perfect world, you can see them all the time. But. The world is not perfect, and so are you, and so am I, and so is everybody else. What happens is, we can check this out. So, it kind of looks like a trichuris and missing the bipolar plugs. But this is actually an enterobius vermicularis egg, or ova. So, if I'm not mistaken, this is 
its flat side and this is the lop side and next we have here its life cycle its life cycle usually just it's for fecal oral route but it doesn't need soil transmission unlike your trichuris trichuria and ascaris lumbricoides it comes out embryonated already so what happens is these little guys right here are very much nocturnal so they have a symptom called pruritus ani or pruritus ani so madaling sa ita pangangati ng puwet so it usually occurs in midnight or about if i'm not mistaken 2 a.m to 4 a.m some somewhere in those times but the female goes out of the an the rectum and into the anus and deposited the, the eggs or deposits its eggs in the perianal area and as a consequence to that those are very itchy and uh, you're gonna have to scratch them so when you scratch them then you like then wash your hands. Hina mo mo yung hindi sketch mo yok, or hindi sketch mo siya na hindi mo alam habang tulog ka. Then you had your morning coffee without washing your hands first. You will get what is called an auto infection because you already have the infection and reinfecting yourself. And kapag bumalik na yung female, back to your intestines. What happens is that it's called a retro infection because your infection just goes back from where it came from. So, what else do we know about enterobius vermicularis? In this life cycle, this is a bit more detailed. So, this is the first life cycle. The second life cycle is you can actually inhale this, not just have it through the fecal oral route. One child in one classroom can infect the whole classroom with this. The other reason why it's called a sip worm is because it's gotten through seats when children are exchanging seats. And it's a bit more sturdier than the other parasites. Again, because it's na inhale. Siya. Also, um, for females, usually those who scratch their anal area and kind of whoop goes through the vaginal area and nakikita to sa ihi from time to time but this is not the true urine parasite medyo pabebe lang siya doon then what else do we know about this again this is very infective but it does have a cure which is your mebendazole albendazole and pyrantel what do we know you still have to wash your hands wash your hands kids then next one is I had a question before if you can get multiple infections in one. And the answer is yes. It's a loud resounding yes. As you can see here in this specimen, this one, this one, those are Ascaris ova. Those are Ascaris ova. And these two right here are Trichuris ova. This guy right here is a hookworm egg. And this guy right here is Balantidium coli. Super wami. Bingong bingo na si bakla dun sa infection niya. I just seem to find, uh, I think this one, if I'm not mistaken. Or if, if not, I can seem to find a very good example or a very good image of the Enterobius vermicularis here, but as you can see, this guy has a lot of parasitic infection. And it's a, a bit more common than you would think because once you get Ascaris, usually you'd also have Trichuris because, again, they are so soil based parasites. Um, so, for now, that ends our review. If you do have questions, suggestions for improvement, and whatnot, if you want to send me a message, please comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks!